8. Arcanum 6. The sixth arcanum is expressed <clears throat> by the seal of Solomon. The star of Bethlehem is the seal of Solomon. The six points of the star are masculine. The six uh, outer obtuse angles that exist between point and point are feminine. In synthesis, this star has 12 rays, six masculine and six feminine. In them, the mysteries of the Arcanum AZF, the sexual magic, are summarized and synthesized. The masculine point, or rather the masculine aspects are the points. The feminine aspects are symbolized by the spaces between the points, the concave spaces. The seal of Solomon, the star of nativity, uh, is the perfect symbol of the central sun, the cosmic Christ, the perfect multiple unity. The God child can never be born within the heart of the human being without the resplendent and uh, life of the brilliant star of nativity. Rather, without the resplendence and life of the brilliant star. One must work with the native Arcanum AZF in order to incarnate him. All of the zodiacal measurements are found summarized within the Seal of Solomon. The twelve rays of the brilliant star crystallize by means of alchemy in the twelve zodiacal constellations. The sexual genesis of the zodiac is represented in the Seal of Solomon. The venerable master of the light, Hilarion, the uh, fourth, when speaking of the brilliant star, said, it is the basic form of all crystallizations and the schematic model of all flourishments. Its two triangles that join or separate love are the two shuttles with which the ineffable mystery of eternal life is woven or unwoven. Above is the most holy eternity that acts as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Below its counterpart, with the power that governs, the power that liberates, and the power that executes. <clears throat> John, the well beloved Christ, or beloved of Christ, <clears throat> exclaimed when receiving the Venustic initiation from Christ's very hands I am the bright and morning star. Revelation. Chapter 22, line 16. Thus, each time that the eternal geometrist or geometrist fixes his attention on one point of space, from that point emerges the glorious star of nativity, announcing the birth of a new state of consciousness, the archetype of a being, a globe, a star, a sun. This was from fourth message of uh, Aryavarta Ashrama The eternal immortal triad is represented in the superior triangle of the seal of Solomon. Yet the inferior triangle represents the three traitors that are within ourselves. Number one, the demon of desire. Number two, the demon of the mind. And number three, the demon of evil will. These three traitors are the three evil friends of Job. These are the three assassinations of Hiram Abif, Judas, Pilate, and Caiaphas. <coughs> Christian symbology. Apopi, Hai, Nept. Egyptian symbology. Sebal, Oreteluk, Stokin, or Stokin. Masonic symbology. These three traitors live within the uh, 
the mind. They are within themselves, or rather ourselves. Let us remember that Dante represents Lucifer in the center of the earth with three mouths, and in each one of his mouths there is a traitor. The Bible cites these three traitors in the book of the Revelation of St. John. Quote, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Revelation chapter 16, line 13. These three unclean spirits like frogs are the three traitors that betray the internal Christ from moment to moment and can constitute the foundation of the reincarnating ego, <clears throat> the psychological I, the Satan, which must be dissolved in order to incarnate the eternal Christ. In the center of the triangles of the Seal of Solomon, the Tao Cross, where the sign of the infinite is found. Both signs are phallic, sexual. The soul is found between the two triangles and has to decide between two ways, the way of light or the way of darkness. This dilemma is absolutely sexual. The clue to these symbols is found in the sacred serpent and the rooster that represented, ra rather represents the iao, the verb, the word. The tempting serpent of Eden exists which is the serpent of darkness that forms the horrible fate, or sorry, tale of Satan. There also exists the bronze serpent of Moses, which is interwinding in the Tao, meaning the sexual lingam, the one that healed the Israelites in the wilderness. The serpent is dormant, coiled three and a half times within the church of Ephesus, or Ephesus, the serpent must uh, depart from this church in the Muladhara chakra and ascend into the medullar canal in order to convert ourselves into angels. If the serpent descends downward to the atomic infernos of the human being, then we convert ourselves into demons. Now you can comprehend why in the caduceus of Mercury, there are always two serpents. When the students spill the semen during the practices with the Arcanum AZF, they commit the crime of the uh, Nicolaitans, uh, Nico, Nicolaitans, Nicolaitans, Revelations chapter uh, 2, line 6 is a reference, I guess, because that's not a quote who work with the Maituna in the ninth sphere, but spill the semen. They use that system in order to make the serpent descend and to be uh, precipitated downwards towards the atomic infernos, thus forming the tale of Satan. This is how the human being is converted into a demon. I remember Krum Heller, who taught white tantra, but his son taught black tantra, which is the practice of my tuna with the spilling and loss of the seminal liquor. Krum Heller's son allowed uh, himself to become fascinated with Black Tantra's doctrine and was converted into a demon with a tail and horns on his forehead. There were many students who were diverted by the son of Krum Heller. He was a sincerely mistaken one that departed from here, uh, Mexico and justified himself by saying that the great law threw him out. <clears throat> the alchemical weddings signify the perfect marriage. The alchemist must not only kill desire, but even the very shadow of the horrible tree of desire. It would be worthless to renounce sex without having previously worked and built the solar bodies reaching the second birth. Only then is this renunciation worthy. 
in the beginning, one has to work with the third logos and the ter a terrific forge of the Cyclops. Then afterwards, to work with the second logos, Heracles, and subsequently with the first logos. The error of monks and nuns is to renounce sex without having previously built their solar bodies. Thus, monks and nuns are found in limbo, dressed with rags. They need to dress in wedding attire in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. In the mysteries of Eleusis, couples dance in order to mutually magnetize themselves. It is necessary to imitate nature and everything. In other words, it is necessary to transmute the energy. In the Temple of the Sphinx, the Book of the Laws of Nature is studied, after which the ordeal, named Ordeal of the Sanctuary, comes. Upon passing this ordeal, a ring with the seal of Solomon is granted unto the student. This ring should not be touched with the left hand. It shines with great force in the internal worlds. In the works of high magic, it is necessary to trace a magical circle. It must be closed with the seal of Solomon. We can manufacture with the seven metals, medallions, and rings of the seal of Solomon. The seal of Solomon must be utilized in all of the works of invocations and in the practices with elementals. The elementals of nature tremble before the seal of the living God. The angel of the sixth seal of the apocalypse has reincarnated at this time into a feminine body. This angel is a specialist in the second jinn sciences. The Bible states in the book of Apocalypse, quote, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, the seal of Solomon. And he cried with a loud voice over to the four angels, the four karmic ar uh, archivists that control the four points of the earth with the law, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the seventh of our God, uh, or rather the servants of our God, in their foreheads. Time was needed in order for the people to study the doctrine of the Christ and to define themselves for Christ or for Yahweh, for the White Lodge or for the Black Lodge. As well, the servants of Satan were already sealed on their foreheads, the mark of the beast. <clears throat> The times of the end are at hand, and we are them. Ten days, the wheel of the centuries, the tenth arcanum, are already past due. Humanity remains classified with the seal of the living God. The majority have already received the mark of the beast on their foreheads and on their hands. A few have received the sign of the lamb on their foreheads. Synthesis we have entered into the world of will, willpower and love. It is necessary to steal the fire from the devil in order to enter into the uh, amphitheater, amphitheater of conscious science. Three, the lower must re uh, steal the light from the higher's or the darkness. The man must intensely practice sexual alchemy magic with the woman. It is necessary to reconquer the flaming sword of Eden. <clears throat>